All right, short track racing. We're at Thompson with the K&N series. 50 laps. I had a terrible qualifying, and we're starting eight. Hopefully, I can survive. Uh, this track has never been kind to me, and I always end up wrong line, spinning on exit, just stupid stuff. So. Uh, not a whole lot of practice, maybe five minutes of it. Just uh, hope to put together a solid top five. We will see though. Never know what you're gonna get with the short track. Early start. Holy shit. Was not ready for that. That thing jumped out unexpectedly. Alright, so luckily I didn't kill the entire field before the start finish line. That would have been pathetic. Just waiting for the tires to get grip. Until then, running the high side's not going to do you a whole lot of good. So, I'm just kind of getting the tires through to that point, and then I can start running hard off the corner. And then, once the tires have warmed up, you can start bringing it down just a little bit. All right, nice easy pass there. Guy got into the wall on entry. Sun coming off of four. Pretty distracting. I guess I'm, that is a real world problem. I have been to this track. Back when the iRacing open house happened in like 2010, it was a very cold, miserable couple of nights of racing. Interesting to see the uh, super modifieds in person, though. They're cool to watch. Time trials. Racing wasn't great, as you would expect with a super downforce fast car. Alright, so we gotta see if we can get under the 18 off the corner. Looks like he's going to mirror drive. Track's just really bumpy. Setup is not great. It's so easy to spin it up off the corner just with the multiple different types of surfaces, bankings, lots of things that can happen. All right. Well, that was nice of them. I had nowhere to go. Could not react in time. I don't think we're down on power. Maybe a little bit on exit. Oh, yeah, it's bouncing around. We 
yet the uh, random engine is not as powerful damage. Might actually help me though. Won't be spinning up the tires. Maybe won't overdrive entry. Yeah, it's still getting loose. I think I need to go high no matter what in one and two. Hopefully this guy doesn't think I was the cause of that. Got the guy just a bit behind me. Lost a little time, but I was never going to catch the five, I don't think. Just such an odd track. But if you haven't seen on the forums, Nashville is getting scanned today. So that is awesome news. Should be a good short track to add. Right before they do all the upgrades to it, and then people want all that stuff. Hopefully they don't change anything on the track, but could also offer us a uh, quarter mile dirt track if they want to put together that terrible thing that the Outlaws raced on.
one in the wall. That is for position. I don't know if he's uh, burnt up his right front or just overdrove one corner. But we also have a lap car that we gotta deal with first. Thank you. That is the type of person I like to lap. Gives up the line on the straightaway on entry. Makes it clear. lines, seeing which ones go green. Seven cars definitely not falling off, so just overshot his corner. We got a ton of lap traffic up ahead. That's going to get very dicey, especially when we got one spinning out. It just got popped. Bunch of damaged cars too. This is our chance where we can make the right moves and hopefully gain some ground. Follow the guy in. That's gonna hurt us trying to get low on exit. Just nothing there. And that hurt. He didn't do anything wrong. He at least held his line. It's just didn't get it completed. Had to stay low the whole corner. Someone's getting a little loose on entry. He's also sliding up quite a bit late. Three and four. Better run off the corner, staying up that high. I just have such a tendency to cut the exit of the corner. It's hard to get out of that habit. Four cars getting a little pressure from the nine, who was actually ahead of both of us until he got in the wall and then made contact, and then I punted him. Seven cards definitely slide in the front end through the center of the corner, though. But I don't think the tires are going to fall off. Not on this short of a race. Only 25 miles. It's not helping him that the 20 cars got fresh tires, and so... Isn't going to be an easy pass. Nope, he pulls over. Please stay low. Let us race it out, dude. Thank you. Staying a little lower. An 
inch by inch on him. Nope. Big push through the center there. on him in that car. That's alright. I wasn't going to catch him. I'm just going to play safe through this lap traffic in the final five. I've got room to work behind. Mistake actually. Hopefully, prevented me from getting into something. These two can't decide what they're going to do. I'm just going to stay away from this guy. He's very sporadic on... Uh, that was the leader! there at the end to get fourth and I'm guessing there was a little bump and run for the win we'll go take a quick look at that not a great run by me but solid top five Wasn't even malicious. Now, how this guy didn't save it and overcorrect it. But after watching him do a burnout on the uh, pace lap, you know. Not. I feel too sorry for him. He's trying to cheat the tires. So, fourth place. And, uh, yeah, that makes up for the horrible Michigan. Could have got better, but I will walk away with fourth and a 4X. So, all right. Thanks for watching. And uh, hit the like button if you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It'll help me grow this channel into uh, something bigger. Thanks.